Floss. 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 <laughs> I always forget about that until until I see it again. <laughs> uh, those ball and, ball and chains got some weird physics. <laughs> well, welcome to part 23 of the Paper Mario playthrough. Uh, Princess Peach time. Hooray. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> what are we going My to do? My favorite character. <laughs> exactly. Are we going to cook again? <laughs> <laughs> Get back at the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I think this time it doesn't really... Oh, well, maybe it didn't last time either. Eh. I don't know. They never uh, during in the Princess Peach interludes. They never tell you exactly where to go. They can only encourage it so much by having locked doors here and there. Uh yeah. But uh, you're essentially like right now. You can visit any of the previous rooms that you've been in before. But uh, there's really isn't any need to, and the, you won't find anything new there. So you just gotta go. Well. I know where <laughs> I'm supposed to go. So yeah, I, I yeah. Make they, a at least you know where to go. It. Yeah, but it, if it, like if since, since someone was actually just like playing, especially for the first time, they'd probably just be wandering around, interacting with a bunch of doors and going to previous spots, being like, "Where do I go?" <laughs> yeah, exactly, and trying not to get caught by the coop patrols there. You just get sent back to your room if you get caught. I, I, I was going to ask what happens if you get caught by them. <laughs> <laughs> you die. <laughs> <laughs> Game over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> <laughs> Snake! <laughs> ah! <laughs> the 64th trivia quiz off. Get it? Get it? 64 and 64. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at them being funny. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. They're not going to send you back to your room because they need a, another contestant for their stupid fucking quiz game. So, this is just, um, this is what we're going to be doing today. <laughs> Part, <laughs> this part. is the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a decent chunk of the episode. Yeah. So yeah, uh, rules are pretty simple. If you know the answer to the question, hit the A button before anyone else can answer it. Oh no, I didn't hit the A button. You imagine he got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> yeah. Although I like how they hide the message uh, here because, you know, these interludes are supposed to uh, say, uh, give you a hint as to where the next star spirit is. They actually give the answers to the next one in this quiz game. Oh, really? Yeah. So that the the other, the one on the left of Peach right there is answering all the other questions because one we don't know the answer to those questions, and actually the game just automatically has uh that coup patrol on the left there just answer it immediately. Mm. Yeah, Spiky Tom. That's his name. <laughs> I know. And the one on the right fucking sucks at this game. <laughs> he does. I don't think he ever answers anything. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, Spiky Tom has all the answers to where the sixth star spirit is. So the game just lets him play out. <laughs> mm. You pretty much have got the rest of it. That's correct. <laughs> yeah, the I think there are only like three questions relating to uh, the six star spirit, uh, and so I, those questions are already done for. So Spiky Tom is not going to answer anymore because he's dumb, and the blue one there is also dumb. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my god. Where this question, where is Peach's castle right now? The place that we're inside. <laughs> where is it right now? Oh, on top of Bowser's castle. <laughs> and I like how S spiky whoever he is on the right didn't know. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what? <laughs> it's like a revelation oh. for him. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh yeah. Um <laughs> I like how they give you a little caveat here just in case you didn't win the quiz game. That's <laughs> really? Yeah, that sneaky parasol right there. Um, is a key item related to the story and that was labeled as a participation uh, trophy <laughs> so even if you lost you still got the key item that's um, crazy but if you did win the quiz like I did you're actually given a gem and jelly which uh, restores 50 uh, FP oh wow yeah so Peach doesn't need FP uh, for the record um, that's just something that you can give to Mario <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I love jelly. <laughs> <laughs> what does jam and jelly taste like? Uh, I don't know, why don't you fucking put jam and jelly, then eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it, idiot. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to look up the difference now because I've forgotten how to describe it. <laughs> Jelly is made using fruit juice, while jam is made using whole fruits that have been crushed or smashed. Oh, okay. Jam or preserves will contain the richest portions of fruitiness, while a jelly's flavor will be slightly bogged down by the gelatin. Gotcha. Hmm. Yeah, so if you want the actual fruit in your spread, get jam. But if you like uh, liquidiness, if you like liquidiness, get jelly. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I can have it either way. I don't even have jam or jelly that often. It's just <laughs> it's just nice for toast, that's all. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. The, treasure. the treasure. There actually is a treasure of Mount Lava Lava. And it's optional. Oh yeah, time to talk to this guy. The bubble, the bulb orb, bubble, bub. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot this guy's the 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 race name for them. I was about to say a Pikmin enemy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, it is a Pikmin enemy, isn't the, it? The bulb orb, yeah. yeah, or something or whatever. Yeah. Oh, I guess it's not optional. Yeah, you do have to get the the volcano vase because um, actually the the point of those uh, those bubbles that we've seen throughout the entire game is actually they give you four keys and those four keys are the gateway into chapter six actually and just and so just to, like um, as a precautionary protocol they limit access to the fourth key right here just in case you did get the previous three from the other chapters so mm. they didn't want you to uh access chapter six in the middle of chapter five because that's just not how not how that works <laughs> so they give you this uh uh caveat here to uh basically you have to get the, uh complete chapter five and that's how you get the volcano vase 
then you can give it to Colorado, which will give you... I got this fucking magic seed here. I have no idea what it's for. <laughs> <laughs> so that is uh, actually really smart thinking on their part. <laughs> oh, this fucker. Did he swim all the way over here? Uh-huh. <laughs> all right, Mario. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> that He's is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> He's great. <laughs> I swam all the way over. Shoo! <laughs> <laughs> Swims all the way back. Uh. Yeah, what a fuckhead. <laughs> he like runs out of stamina and drowns. <laughs> you joke about that. Well, <laughs> Wait, not okay, maybe not the drowning part. Yeah, go home to your wife, Colorado. She needs you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he got back here a lot faster. <laughs> I will never swim again for the rest of my life. <laughs> More power. Oh my god. Oh no, he can fly again. And he's got a spike on top of his head. Oh no, whatever shall we do with this 20 HP? <laughs> Prepare for my civil rights beam. <laughs> <laughs> that was almost timed. <laughs> yeah. No wait, this is the civil rights beam right here. <laughs> Prepare for my civil rights. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I hit Tony. You catch <laughs> You get the joke. Yeah. And honestly, because this battle showed you just how much HP he has, there's no need for another Goombario tattle. Yeah, that's actually the thing, and it's only exclusive with Junior Troopa. Um, you have to redo the Goombario tattle in order to see its HP, because it's it'll be different every time. Hmm. Yeah, but there's no need to with this one. It, it'll, it would just be a waste of a turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, just waited. Should have just waited for Mario to come back. <laughs> <laughs> we can abuse him now. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> <laughs> he's he's out for the count. Quick, <laughs> tie him up. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, this badge right here is actually kind of useful too. Uh, it allows your uh, party members to actually use the uh, focus ability in battle as well. So it's not just you. So, hooray, that's great. <laughs> and in Thousand Year Door, uh, that would actually be like a, a default thing for them. Mm. Yeah. Because focus is really helpful in battle. Charges up your star uh, meter uh, more than it usually does. It's nice when you get to carry over stuff from previous games into the next one. <laughs> Metroid. <laughs> where, uh, gee, where did all my things go? <laughs> Where'd oh, everybody go? <laughs> I, I don't know. We got to figure out some excuses to why we don't have our things. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, Metro Delta M, you're not yeah, allowed I, I was, to. I was going to say, just be like, yeah, you can't use things unless I authorize it. <laughs> that is the stupidest. And I thought being knock, knocked hard up against the wall in Metroid Prime was stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah, that does happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Samus is probably like, why do I have to learn the morph ball every goddamn time? <laughs> <laughs> This needs to quit happening. <laughs> Fucking. I still haven't played the uh, Metroid Prime remake, remaster, whatever. Oh, I just haven't played Metroid Prime at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember sampling it when I, when I first got my GameCube. And um, I remember not liking the control scheme of it. And that was just a me thing, because I know Metroid Prime fans are like, this is the only way to play. I know, I know, I get it. But, like, for me, who is not, who's not even used to, one, not used to the first person genre, and two, Metroid Prime not having the traditional first person uh, controls. Yeah. Yeah, so, there's that. Those are both struggles for me, and why I didn't, didn't get past, like, the fucking tutorial section <laughs> i played a bit of three uh when mm. i was when i was young and I, th I think i i actually made pretty decent progress but like like most other games <laughs> that i played when i was a kid i eventually got to a point where i just couldn't figure out what to do next and then i stopped playing it <laughs> yep sometimes it'd be like that when we're kids and we don't know any better that's why i can never freaking finish the um uh, it was Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. Well, there's Forgotten Sands and Two Thrones, actually. I had both of those, and I had fun with both of those. It's just, like, I couldn't get very far into them, because uh, back at that time, they're just a little too complex for my liking. And it also doesn't help now that I look back at Forgotten Sands specifically and realize, oh, shit, that comment system is actually dumb. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I should replay those games because they do they do have their uh their uh their charm and their, their stuff. I've I've finished Sands of Time actually and that was fun. More recently. It didn't help I was playing the uh sort of glitchy PS3 port and the game crashed during a boss fight, but that's besides the point. <laughs> awesome! <Yay. laughs> yeah, I ended up getting like the PS3 had this like thing about taking some uh not that much older games but taking some older games and just bundling them up into a trilogy i think just to show off hey we are able to get three ps2 games onto one ps3 disc that's how powerful this console is <laughs> whoa <laughs> yeah they did that with the prince of persia trilogy they did that with the um uh tomb raider like not not the ps1 games <laughs> but not, not the ps1 games but not the newer games either it was like the weird the weird middle age phase that uh lara croft half i guess <laughs> uh yeah they did that for tomb raider um they did that i think with devil may cry there's an hd collection before the ps4 and switch hd collections <laughs> so there yeah there are a couple of those for the ps3 Dude, it's kind of crazy to think about how we'd, we'd go from have, being able to fit like you know like three games onto one disc to at this point now needing like three discs for one game <laughs> <laughs> that is so true though <laughs> We were able to get these three PS2 games on one PS3 disc. <laughs> New game. Fucking, we need three discs to install. <laughs> what was it? Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah so that's a pretty good, uh, like, just sort of more recent example. Yeah, Cyberpunk has, like, two discs that you need to use. <laughs> one to install the game. The other one to uninstall the... I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Is it like um the Final Fantasy three uh, or not three Final Fantasy seven remake split into like multiple discs or whatever? Uh yeah, um it has two discs and that's just an insulation and thing. Yeah, usually the bigger games that come out 
around this time, especially the late PS4 era, um, like Cyberpunk, um, were usually two discs. One for the data and the other for, you know. I don't know if it was true for GTA V, that being like an early PS4 game, but I, I only have the uh, 360 version of GTA V, and that also was like a installation disc and a play disc. Huh. Although that's just probably on me for buying the 360 copy instead of the uh, <laughs> X1 copy. But that's besides the point. 